is up you guys this is mini superheroes today hey guys with black panther wakanda forever coming out i thought i would dig out this old set which is actually pretty good it's actually held up better than i remember and this is the 2018 royal talon fighter attack with 358 pieces you get the royal talon fighter four minifigs, three of which are exclusive and one of which is pretty desirable anyways, and this retailed for 30 bucks back in the day. On today's market, it goes for about 40 to 50, whether it's used, open, doesn't really matter, and I think it's actually held up really well like I said. Now, let's start with the minifigures. Of course, up first we have Killmonger, and this figure is really awesome because of that great torso print. Uh, we've got printing on the back as well. Unfortunately, mine cracked. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but my torso so did get a crack in it and of course you can lift up this helmet it's actually kind of rubbery and squishy and there's just a generic head underneath I really wish that it came for hair because Killmonger's hair was so unique but they kind of got lazy and just put this mask on him you know anyways he did come with a gun but I've lost the gun over the years Let's hop over to Ulysses Claw. This is a really cool figure. I think it would have benefited from having dull molded short sleeved arms because it would look more like the figure, but I understand why Lego didn't give us that, especially back then. Unfortunately, the torso on this figure cracked as well, and he did come with this cool little like robotic thing that goes over his hand because of course he's got his robotic hand after Ultron chopped it off. And the official set came with like a blue lightning bolt. I don't know why the one I had with it is clear, who knows, maybe me back in 2018 was like organizing stuff and threw it in the wrong place, but the head is double-sided with an angry face on one side and, well, I guess kind of a semi-angry face on the other side. Our next minifigure is Black Panther. Now, this figure was exclusive very briefly, but then it was released in the Infinity War line of sets just a few months later. So, uh, he was not exclusive for very long, but for a minute, he was. I always really liked how there's a little bit of scaling when you hold it in the right light, you can see that, and that is continued onto the back as well. Of course, this Black Panther uh, did not come with the printing on the little earpiece like the in, excuse me like the Civil War version did but this version does show T'Challa's eyes under there which is quite cool and even though it's not my favorite Black Panther minifig just the fact that you know we got it at all is pretty awesome I don't know these days I'm feeling really sad missing Chadwick Boseman he was such a cool dude if you look into his history uh, he was just such an awesome dude speaking of awesome people we've got Nakia this is a really cool figure in the torso it's a really great Dora Milaje. Unfortunately for army building, this is the only set that this torso came in. So until the Wakanda Forever sets, this was the only Dora Milaje torso we had. So now at least we got it in another set, but that came in an even more expensive set. So it's really hard to army build the Dora Milaje. Anyways, a uh, really, really nice figure, of course, with these hoop uh, weapons. And of course, you can flip the head around. So she's got a smirk on one side and a big open mouth smile on the other. Now, as for the set itself, this is not exactly to scale with what we see in the movie, and as play features go, unfortunately, there aren't many. There are some stud shooters hidden underneath, so when you push that little tab in, it shoots the stud out. Oops, I broke a piece off. Then, of course, the front cockpit lifts up, and there's room to put one figure seated there, and room to put another figure seated up front, and of course, we've got some stickers, you know, for the computer module. The only other play feature is there's kind of a prison area where you can throw Ulysses Claw in there, and that just kind of closes up like this, so there you go, you've got your prisoner, and that's about all there is to say play feature-wise. I do really like these wings, they're kind of in a fixed position. I do really like these wings. They're kind of in a fixed position. We did have quite a few stickers on the side here, as well as the top and the front of the cockpit. But overall, it's a really, really solid build, and it's very swooshable. It's very comfortable in the hand, and it's definitely ready for play, even if it doesn't have a ton of play features. So with that being said, this is a pretty cool set. I think it's aged pretty well over the last four years, and I'm so happy that I still have it, and I'm glad I could kind of rewind and review it with you guys here today. Let me know what you think of this set. Be sure to hit like and subscribe down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.